All right, guys. Uh, one more daily vlog for you. Uh, man, it is like really warm today. Uh, we're what two weeks or less than two weeks away from Christmas, and it's like it's pretty hot. So I think maybe uh, climate change uh, is real. So uh, anyway, first things first. Um, I just realized that I have over 100 subscribers on this channel, and that's so amazing to me uh, that there are 100 people out there that are willing to, to listen to me talk about whatever the hell I'm talking about. So, uh, truly thankful. Thank you guys. Um, I know this channel can be kind of all over the place at times, but, um, you know, I'm just sharing what uh, what I'm going through, sharing my life, and hopefully giving you guys some uh, some decent information, too. So, I know people always tell me, I need to focus on one thing, you know, focus on the travel or focus on, you know, the online business stuff or digital marketing, whatever. Um, but, you know, I'm just doing the best I can, <laughs> sharing my life, and um, I will see what happens. But, um, yeah, thank you guys a lot. I really appreciate it. You have no... You have no idea how uh, how good that made me feel when I, when I saw that uh, you know, triple digit uh, subscribers. So thank you again. Uh, which brings us to kind of to my next uh, next point. So um, you know this is kind of an unconventional YouTube channel, and I have been rereading this book uh, called The Art of Nonconformity, also by uh, Chris Gillibo, Right. So I'll put a link to the. I'll put a link to the book in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But uh, it's really good. I, I I really like it. It's kind of about like you know changing the world and, and living a life that's that's different from from you know what normal is, right? What people consider a normal a normal life. Like you re you're reevaluating you know the concepts of work and, and and home and all that stuff. And that's kind of what I've been doing on this channel and basically the last you know. Four or five years of my life, right? I have not had a, uh, a home technically since 2010, right? It broke my lease when I was living in Phoenix, and I've been kind of bouncing around uh, ever since then. I've been, you know, I haven't had a job, quote unquote job, uh, since then, right? Um, I've been making my living more or less uh, from the internet, right? Writing and, and, and whatnot. So, um, and this is, this is where things come into play right now. So the last couple of, well, last week or so, I've been thinking, you know, maybe it's time to settle down, right? Get a place out here in Glendora, you know, find a place to live, you know, maybe find that special person I can spend, you know, my life with. And I haven't thought about getting a job. <laughs> you can believe that. But uh, that's kind of out of that part. I think is out of the question. Um, but um, yeah, I'm kind of at that at that you know tipping point. Like, do I go out and travel more, or do I settle down and have a, you know, a somewhat conventional life? I don't know. I was talking to a, a friend of mine the other day, and she I was telling her, hey, I think I might want to settle down. And she's like, really? Like, I don't see you, I don't see you doing that. You know, I see you traveling, it seems to be what you like. I was like, yeah, but you know, getting older, you know, my body's not as, uh, I don't easily, I don't recover as easily as I used to, right? I mean, like, uh, aches and pains, just like every other old person out there. So, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, it's definitely gonna be uh, something to keep an eye out for. Uh, going forward and uh, finally I don't know what's going on uh, I told you earlier about uh, DTube right and I'll put another link in the description below for that but I've been putting all these videos up on DTube which is hooked to which is connected to Steemit right I told you about Steemit before and I've been having really good days like the the, the videos are, are really you know making some decent money right and I can certainly use that money to travel. I mean, it's only been like three or uh, four days, right? The last four days have been like really great as far as bringing in uh, some income. But, you know, I, I mean, obviously it's gotta, it's gotta you know, keep going and I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. 
as long as I keep doing the same things I've been doing, right? But uh, yeah, making that making that money has kind of opened up a lot more options for me. Even staying here, right? If I can if I can just keep making these videos and making these blog posts on on Steemit um, and making a decent amount of money on a daily basis, you know, I could I can pretty much do whatever I want, which is also <laughs> kind of scary. The fact that uh, you know now it's all up to me. You know, like if, if money's not if money's not a hindrance for me to do what I want to do, then it's all up to me to, to actually you know, figure out what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, and I can't use, well, I don't have enough money as an excuse, right? So I, I was reading that book a while back, um, how, to travel, how to Travel the World on $50 a Day, I think it's called. Um, and yeah, if you're making 50 bucks a day, you can travel the world. If I'm making 100 bucks a day, I can definitely travel the world. So, yeah, that's opening up a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities and a lot of questions for me. So, um, yeah, if you're not on DTube at the moment and you're making YouTube videos, I strongly suggest you go over there and give it a shot. Right now, the, the platform is very, very new, so you have a good chance of becoming, uh, I don't know, uh, power user, I don't know what you want to call it, but you have a good chance of really building a good audience over there and, and making some, some decent cash at the moment. So that's all I got for today. Uh, you know the drill, like and share the video, and I'll be back later on with some, uh, some good information for you.